Good morning, guys. There's some breaking American Idol news, and I thought we should go over it together. So what we need to do first, once I click on it, is to figure out which um, category we think it belongs in. So do we think it's world news, sports news, or entertainment news? So I'm not sure if you're familiar with American Idol, but it's a singing competition. So people are performing, and um, the judges kind of tell them what they're doing well and what things that they could do better. So it's a form of entertainment. So we're going to go into our entertainment news. And then, so you'll notice here's a man who is a performer. So all these stars, they kind of, you kind of see stars when you're um, – thinking about people who are celebrities. Um, there's also a ticket here. Usually if you're um, going to some type of performance or entertainment, you have to pay and you have to um, bring a ticket with. So I think that's the reason behind this. He's dressed up really fancy. Most people who are performing um, dress up as well. So let's check out what this American Idol news is. <clears throat> So it says, so here's the picture for American Idol. I'm not sure if you're familiar with it. Like I said, um, I've been watching the show for years and years and years and singing is kind of my jam. I love it. Uh, and so I love to see these people who, you know, just come from regular backgrounds. They are high school kids. They are adults. They are young people and they have this wonderful talent. And then you kind of see them go through this whole journey of, um, getting better, singing with others, singing with the band. And it's pretty awesome to see their growth from the first time that they audition um, and then making it to the next round. So it's a lot of fun. So here's the, um, I'm trying to think of what the word should be. Here's the, it says the American Idol sign. Um, but basically this is what you would see if you're, if people are talking about American Idol at the beginning of the show and whatever. So the popular TV show American Idol has four more episodes. The next episode is April 26th, so that's coming up. Singers compete on American Idol. Usually, the contestants perform on a stage in front of an audience. This year, the contestants will perform from their homes because of the coronavirus. So we've been talking about this at our, at our house because usually there's a huge audience. So by the end of the show, they're performing as if they are big celebrities, big stars. So... Um, I was wondering, and we were wondering as a household, what they were going to do about this because, you know, part of being a singer and a performer is performing in front of others. And so we were kind of wondering how they were going to do this, and this might be our answer. So the top 20 singers will film their performances on smartphones. Judges will talk about their favorite singers from their homes, and the audience will, will watch on TV and vote for their fav favorite singers at home. Ten singers will move on to the second episode. Their winner will be announced on May 17th. So will you watch American Idol? I'm sure you know my answer from my excitement about this. I love American Idol. I love their stories. I have my favorite singers. I hope they make it. So do you think you're going to watch? I hope you do. It's a great show that you can watch as a family. You, We like to be our own judges here to decide if, yeah, we like that song or uh, we didn't like that song. Um, and so that's a lot of fun. Um, I'm going to go back to that video in just a moment. So here is another way we can look at the story. A popular TV show has four more episodes. This TV show is American Idol. The next episode is April 26th. Singers compete on American Idol. The singers will perform at home because of the coronavirus. So you'll... So this is kind of another reminder that it's not just us that are staying home right now. You know, it's your teachers and your friends and your family um, and celebrities and now singers. And this whole competition is just going to look different because of this. So this is bigger than just our school. Okay. Um, it's a bummer that we're not at school. I would prefer that we were all there together um, talking about this and, and having a conversation. But it just can't be right now. So it's really interesting to see the different ways that people can, you know, still experience these things. So we're experiencing school a little bit differently. You know, I am sending you videos and sending you work and you're working with your families to get these things done. And that's just different, you know. Uh, so I'm teaching differently. You're learning differently. And now here's kind of a bigger picture of what that looks like. Um, these people are usually in front of a big audience and now they're just at home filming themselves, um, singing and, you know, continuing the competition in a different way. 
Singers usually perform on a stage in front of an audience. 20 singers will film themselves on smartphones. Judges on the show will talk about their favorite singers. The audience will watch on TV and vote at home. The winner will be announced on May 17th. All right, so what is American Idol? Is it a book, a TV show, or a movie? So we know it's a TV show. TV show. Oh. Where will the singers perform? A theater, home, or in a stadium? All right, yes. So they are now just performing at their homes. And you know what? Um, home. This might be, you know, fun for them. And this is something that they can do maybe more than one time. I guess I'm not sure. I'm assuming that they're not um, recording themselves live. And this might, this is really going to change the show because in the past, um, they have to sing live. And so if they mess up, then, you know, that's a huge bummer. And the judges see that and the audience sees that and people who are voting see that. And so I'm not sure if maybe this will give them an opportunity to, um, record themselves more than once. And so they get an opportunity to do better and be better. So I guess we'll have to wait and see. When will the winner, excuse me, the winner, when will the winner be announced in May, April, or June? All right, the winner's gonna be announced in May. All right, so their um, next show is coming up here in April, but the winner is in May. May, May. Oops, sorry. Okay, so let's see. Sorry, I'm touching my face a lot, and I'm not supposed to do that because it's the coronavirus people. Okay. Click all these ads out here. So the American Idol must go on. How the singing competition will crown a winner remotely. So remotely is um, when it's not live. So we're this is this is remote teaching right now. I am in my house. You guys are in your house. Um, we are teaching from afar. You might hear like virtual learning, distance, those types of things. Um, and that's, that's just another word for that. So here are the, um, the judges and they, you know, usually are live with the contestants. And so, um, they won't have that opportunity. So it's look a little different. This is Lionel Richie and this is Katy Perry and Luke Bryan. So these guys are all celebrities, and so they've been in the music industry for a very long time, and um, give them some criticism on what, um, how to make it in the business. Sorry, I'm just gonna try to make this smaller so we don't have to see all this stuff over here. Uh oh, hope that doesn't, nope, go back. Sorry guys. Okay, so, how do 20 finalists compete to be the next American Idol? Get out of here. They, along with the ABC sh shows, millions of fans, <laughs> oh, come on. Millions of fans are about to find out. So this season's four final episodes will be taped rather than live as planned. So usually these last few episodes are live um, and then people can text or call in or whatever and do um, their voting. So um, people at home can vote. Um, kind of like we do for Mystery Doug when we get to vote on what we want to learn about next. So each of the finalists, along with the judges, Katy Perry, Lionel Richie, and Luke Bryan, host and the host, Ryan Seacrest, and mentor um, Bobby Bones will see, be seen remotely from their homes. Uh, the show's seven-piece live band and three backup singers who normally accompany the performers on a glitzy soundstage in Los Angeles will instead record their arrangements separately from their homes. Again, they can't be together either, which is kind of odd because they're a band. Usually the band is all playing together. Um, so they'll um, tape their own pieces and then they'll put it all together as um, a recording. And it'll be played back while the would-be idols perform songs to be recorded on Fridays. And instead of an audience cheering on the fans, the singer's only feedback will come from judges on a Zoom video chat. So this answers my question. <clears throat> so they're still, still, they are still only going to have one opportunity to sing their song. Remember how I said I wasn't sure if they was, would be able to record it? So just like we are able to video chat, they're going to use the same kind of technology, which is kind of neat. So they will zoom and um, then we'll be able to see their performance that way. Um, in order to keep, excuse me, in order 
in order that the show doesn't become a 20 acapella songs for two hours, we're trying to keep up the production aspect. Um, so they are trying to make sure that we are still excited about watching. So producers are the people that help make the show. And so they are still making sure that it's going to be exciting for us to watch, that we're not just watching people videotaping in their houses and that might kind of get to be a little bit boring. Um, so they're trying to figure out how to make things exciting for us to watch. So, um, I'm going to click out of this. So here is an, sorry, here's an example of when they were actually talking to their, um, contestants. So the contestants are the singers. All right. Well, Thank you. This is Tanya Bergman signing out of the um, breaking news and news to you. I will see you next time. Thanks, guys.